Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today we are about to scan our second van. It's a T6.1 um, from VW. Uh, it's a California, it's the beach edition. Yesterday we already started and prepared everything. So we have a, our super powerful computer here with the monitor that we can ski, see the scan later on. Uh, we have the scanner here. And um, also, if you see, the windows are quite whitish. This is also something that we prepared yesterday already. It's a combination out of baby powder and uh, alcohol. And we spray it on the windows and the alcohol is condensing quite fast. So the white stuff is staying behind. And we need it that the um, scanner can see the windows and it's not scanning through them. So yeah, let's go inside. Yesterday, we already did the back part of the car and today together with you and to explain it to you we want to do the front part and as well the bench that is in this California edition also a sleeping bench so you can fold um, the backrest all the way flat to, to the back and have a bed here. So for now I'll start with this part and uh, show you how it works. This is uh, the model that we scanned yesterday and as you can see the front here is missing. Uh, it's puzzled together from a lot of different parts because uh, it's too big to scan all in one. But that works pretty good with the software to put these parts together. So now we're adding another one and now we can start to scan the front. I'm basically always looking at the screen. There I can see what I'm, what I'm scanning or what the scanner is seeing. Right now I'm at the back of the seat. So there's the headrest, backrest, armrest, handbrake. <laughs> Just hit the start button and keep going. This technology is so amazing. <laughs> it is. It's uh, every time super satisfying to use it. Let's calculate this. That takes a while. It's finished. That's a good thing. That looks good. So, and the co-driver's seat is next. So we scan the van in quite a lot of sections because of two reasons. At first, the computer has a hard time to keep track if the scan gets too big and second, if it doesn't keep track properly, it sometimes adds information or data at places it shouldn't or it jumps in space. And then the whole scan is messed up and this definitely happens more the bigger the scan gets. So if you do it all in one, you'd have to restart from scratch and like this, you just have to do the one little section again. To figure out all the settings for the software and the right strategy to scan this the best or most efficient took quite some time. The first one I did took me more than a week to scan and the second one took only two days. After that we actually also scanned a much bigger van, a sprinter van that we learned quite a lot from. So I think there's still room for improvement and we'll get better with each scan. So what are you doing here? Well, I'm, I'm trying to puzzle all the different scans we made together to make one whole scan of the car. And we did a first try yesterday, but this didn't end up well in the very end. The problem is when you, when you start in one corner and go around, when you go uh, get back to the first corner you started, uh, most of the times you have an uh, offset here. What I don't like that, well it meets pretty good here, but it seems like this is a different direction than this. 
they don't seem parallel. Here you can see the offset a little because this red edge is probably the same as this green edge. We maybe have to try one more time. In the end I just figured out I have to start in the middle to puzzle all the pieces together. So I started with the bench and added the sides of the van and in the end the front and back. And this way I didn't get a lot of offsets so this is definitely precise enough to work from. We've scanned this also with the backrest folded down and with the backrest folded all the way to the back as well. Of course and then we have the little kitchen that's inside the van. This you can just fold out of the side. That's a really cool design by VW. That's awesome. And the pop-up roof. Oh, maybe I should leave this on. And the pop-up roof of course. And we have the side window open and closed. We have the door open and closed. That's maybe important too. And of course the front seats you can turn around in this California Beach Edition. So we have scanned these turned around as well. So I think this is a very good basis to design the conversions for this car. And actually I've already did, did a proof of concept with the first car I scanned. So I milled some boards to the contours of the car to see if this workflow works and if it's precise enough. Just see for yourself. I just tested the first pieces that I've milled with the 3D scans. These meant to be the kind of proof of concept. So to see if my 3D scan is precise enough. And well, I have the pieces in part. The one in the back is a little bit reflecting, but and there's another one, a vertical one. And these fit just spot on. <laughs> this is so awesome. This moment is so freaking awesome. I've spent more than a week to get this 3D scanning to work or to get a good model out of it that I could use. And I'm, I'm so pleased that this next step is so far working without any problems or instances.